This is a message for Tony Bellew. First off, congratulations. Winning in front of your hometown, home fans, home football club, blah, blah, blah. Congratulations, you won the vacant WBC title. Lifelong ambition realised, congratulations. But amongst all the excitement, maybe that punch you took in the first round that dropped you, your brain got scrambled because it looks like you really want to get knocked out by calling me a Bermsey bitch, talking about knocking me out. You must have lost your goddamn mind. After I've knocked out Shannon Briggs, who's been giving it a lot of that as himself, if you want to be on the list too, I'm knocking out all people talking too much, so get in the list, mate. You're going to get smashed to bits. I used to be a cruiserweight, so the side, both the same height, both similar, same size. Let's do it if you want it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. You guys seen the clip, and I'm very happy because I believe the heavyweight division is on and popping. You got a lot of players. You got Anthony Joshua facing the undefeated Dominique Brazil. David Hay came out of retirement. Shannon Briggs is, let's go champ. Don't touch the champ. You got him. You got Deontay Wilder who was supposed to fight Povetkin but he failed a drug test. Yada, yada, yada. You got Tyson Fury, Klitschko too. And now you got some more beef. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. So you guys seen the clip, David Hay, he was responding to Tony Bellew. And Tony Bellew was basically trash talking him, saying he wants to fight him. I believe they've sparred in the past. You guys got to keep in mind, David Hay was a cruiserweight. Um, Tony Bellew moved up as well. And now he's at cruiserweight. Just won a vacant title. Check out the article from my dude, Bakari. Great write-up. And it was a brutal, nasty knockout from Tony Bellew. So I was actually surprised because I, really, I don't really recall his power being that great but that was a good knockout but maybe got motivated from being in the creed movie ricky Connolly or whatever he was and he, he's just taking it to another level so let's hear what david hay had to say in the caption to the video i just played message to tony bellew and his disrespectful lyrics about me after last night's vacant wbc title win and that was the video you guys seen hashtag david hay hashtag haymaker hashtag heyday so that was his response. He says, you must want to get knocked out because you call me a bitch and, and you want a vacant title. See, and a lot of people get mad when I talk about that. But it is different to win a vacant title versus to win and beat a champion. Like Terrence Crawford, he went to Ricky, Bill, uh, Ricky Burns, Ricky Burns' backyard and beat him and stripped him of his title by beating him convincingly. You know what I mean? That's different than David Lemieux and Hassan Indom just fighting for a vacant title, Saddam Ali versus Jesse Vargas. Like, if you look at it, like let's say look at welterweight, Jesse Vargas, there's a lot of top dogs at welterweight. So that means to get the title, he would have to go through a Pacquiao, a Mayweather, a Keith Thurman, or one of the title holders like Danny Garcia. And those are all difficult fights. So um, it's not bad to win a vacant title. Obviously, a fighter a title is a title, but it is not the same as winning it as a challenger and dethroning a champion. So that's kind of why David Hay keeps putting emphasis on it. So he also put on his um, social media today, he responded, and he said basically that if after Shannon Briggs, because I think he has a contract to fight Shannon Briggs, um, he'd be willing to fight Tony Bellew. And he says to do that, that he would be willing to drop down and wait. So this is what he says. If a fight with me and Tony Bellew did happen, I'd get as light as possible for speed, as close to 210 pounds as I can. And you guys seen the video, he looks pretty big. He Ever since he came back out of retirement, dude looks, he looks jacked. He looks real big, definitely in the, the mid 200s. And he said he would try to come in light versus Tony Bellew, who would move up from cruiserweight so i don't really know the logistics especially i don't know all the uk promoters obviously i know like eddie hearn and frank warren and stuff but i don't know the uk logistics on what promoters if they all work together and things like that so i don't know if this could happen and then the other issue would be wait you got a vacant title tony bell you just captured a vacant title in his last fight at cruiserweight so is he really willing to move up again even though david hay is saying he'll come in as light as close to 210 pounds as possible that's still not 210 pounds you know what i mean and there's no guarantee heavyweights heavyweight so you can't unless they made some kind of personal contract between the camps david hay could really come in at whatever he can you know what i mean sign on, on the dotted line for the fight and said oh i said i was going to get come in as close as i can to 210 and then really come in at like 230 so obviously that would be a huge size differential for a guy like tony bellew but he kind of asked for it because he was talking trash and he was calling out 
David Hayes. So obviously he has no fear with the situation. Let me know what you guys think of the heavyweight division. David Hay should be fighting Shannon Briggs next. I don't know actual date and things like that. That's an interesting fight because uh, we know Shannon Briggs has experience. Been in there with Lennox Lewis. He's been in there with Klitschko. He has power. He's still in shape. So that'll be a good fight because clearly David Hay, since he came out of retirement, he ain't really fought nobody. Even though I don't care about records. Like Arnold Gregory or whatever the guy he just fought. Gurja Gurja Gur. He was undefeated, but who is he? You know what I mean? You've seen what happened. He got mopped up. So I'm not really worried about that. But since retirement, he was actually, David Hay was supposed to fight Tyson Fury. And then he pulled out and went into retirement. And that was never rescheduled. Tyson Fury went on to beat Klitschko. And now he's about to rematch him. So just a little history lesson for some of the new boxing fans. But bottom line is Shannon Briggs will be the best name that David Hay has faced since his comeback. Because that Michael Moriarty or whatever and the Arnold Grigigigigi, who are they? You know what I'm saying? Shannon Briggs was at least a two-time American champion at heavyweight. Let me know what you guys think. Heavyweight division definitely shaping up. You got King Kong Ortiz and a ton of players. And a lot of beefs brewing up. And you know what I mean? A lot of shit talking. That's what I like about the heavyweights because these are big men. Pause. So they're not, they don't, there's no fear there. You know what I mean? They, they really feel like, man, I'm, I'm 220, I'm 230, I'm 250. They really don't fear each other. So they're open to talk shit and it makes it interesting. Tyson Fury, he talks a lot of shit. Deontay Wilder, everybody really, except for King Kong Ortiz. I haven't really heard him talk much, but there's also a language barrier. Let me know what you guys think. David Hay versus Tony Bellew. Would you watch it? Would you give Bellew any kind of chance? Since he would be the lighter guy, drop it in the comment section, share the video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.